Hi guys, it's Nikki and today I'm partnering with Avon to bring this Sultry Rebel makeup look for you guys. The Sultry Rebel look is for someone that lives a life to the full. It's for someone that has a daring spirit. Even though we've got nude lips, this is an intense look. So if you guys want to see how I created the Sultry Rebel look, then just keep on watching. So as you guys can see, I already have my base makeup applied and today I'm going to be using Avon's Sultry Rebel kit. Now all the products in this kit are worth £32. But you guys can get them for £15. One absolute bargain. This kit is very me. It's dark, it's smoky, it's sultry, it's everything that I love. Now inside this kit you have everything that you could supposedly want to create this full look. We have an eyeshadow mini palette. This is a quad. It has four colours in ranging from a black glittery, a matte grey, a satin grey and a satin white shadow. You also have a lipstick which is a brown nude, one of my favourites. You get a black black mascara this one is going to be really really good at just to get these lashes up and defined and then you also have a black liquid liner now before I get started I do want to let you know that Avon does have including this kit four kits available this one is just very me so I'm excited to be creating this look for you but if you do want to shop this look then you can find it on www.avon.uk.com and you can shop your kits right there for my smoky eyes I'm gonna start with the epic intense eyeshadow mini palette in smoke and mirrors and I'm gonna take this matte gray shade which is a really nice gray tone and I'm going to take this just through my crease on a fluffy brush just in my transition to get a really nice kind of grey smoke on both of my eyes. Now a smoky eye is all about layering and these colours are super pigmented so you just need a tiny amount and then what I like to do is just pack the colour on onto my crease when I'm getting a little bit more of an intense crease colour and then buff it out. Okay, so once you're happy with the intensity of your crease colour, noticing that I've just concentrated a lot of my colour in the crease and then it's more blown out, we're going to move it straight on to the black shimmery colour. So I'm going to take this black shimmery now on a flat brush and just carefully packing this colour on. Make sure that you don't swipe because we don't want loads and loads of fallout. We're just going to pack this black glitter colour on to the lid with small, small patting motions. Now when I'm particularly shopping for a black eyeshadow, I'm looking for a good colour payoff. You want it to be super pigmented and you don't want to have to add too, too much product because black is a difficult product to blend. This one is super pigmented, you don't need a lot, and it looks so nice with the little flecks. It kind of gives it a little bit of dimension with the glitter, and it doesn't look too, too flat. Now I'm going to go back into my Smoke and Mirrors palette. I'm going to take that matte grey again on a smaller blending brush now, and I'm just going to blend out that black just to make sure that we haven't got any harsh lines and it really does look smoky and blurred. Taking that matte grey colour again now, I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line because we really need to connect the top to the bottom to give it that smoky feel. I want a really smoky lower lash line as well. Again, just going over top just to smoke that out a little bit further. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this white shade here. It's quite iridescent, like a power finish shade. And I'm gonna pop this just to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit into my inner corner area as well, just to really brighten my inner corners up. Now looking at my eyes, I kinda just wanna open them up a tiny little bit more. So I'm gonna take this satin gray in the eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna pop it just behind that inner corner highlight, just to brighten my eyes up that tiny little bit. Taking a touch of the darkest color in the palette, I'm just gonna run this this as close to the lower lash line as possible just to add a little bit of depth and definition to my eyes. Now I'm not going to take this colour all the way in because I don't want to close my eyes up. I want more of like kind of a gradient effect so I'm just concentrating it on the outer third. Then go ahead and just smoke that bad boy out. Now it took a while but we got there. I'm done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to move on to liquid liner. I want a really nice kind of sharp wing for this smoky eye so I'm going to be using the Avon Glimmer Stick Liquid Eyeliner Pen in black and then I'm just going to be giving myself a little bit of a wing so doing quite a thin line on the top lash line and then coming out into an outer triangle like an upside down V and pulling it back in you don't want to go too big because you don't want the wing to be the sole focus of the makeup but I do just want to lift my eyes and make them a little bit more feline at the end and that's what this wing is going to help us do now I'm going to admit to you guys there's always a weaker side this is my weaker side and when I do this wing I always do it a little bit bigger so I always have to come back to this eye and make it that tiny bit bigger because balance is difficult with wing liner but what I found is with this liquid eyeliner pen it's so easy because it's got such a fine point 
on it like a little tip and that's what you want to look for it just makes it really easy if it was big and clunky then the wing would start to get messy and it wouldn't look so kind of sharp the glimmer stick is also great because it dries super quick and i like that with liquid eyeliners i don't want it so i'm doing it it's super wet and it's transferring this one dries super super quick now the sultry rebel kit also comes with a mascara this is the super shop definition mascara so i'm gonna go ahead and i am just gonna apply a few good layers of this mascara on to my lashes now to get the most out of your mascara just try and get to the root right to the root of your lash and wiggle that way your lashes are really going to stand out and then also kind of just separate between the two that's what i like to do i like to fan them out and really just get to the root of every single lash I feel like you can do this with this mascara and you can layer up because it lasts all day and it also doesn't do any of the flaky business on you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the same mascara onto my lower lashes. This mascara is incredible for your lower lashes. I like my lower lashes really, really separated and it does that effortlessly. Now that I'm happy with the eyes, I need to finish this makeup look off with a really nice lip colour. I'm going to be using Avon's True Colour Lipstick. This is a lipstick infused with shea butter in the colour Mocha. It's a beautiful brown, rich tone. So I'm going to pop this baby on my lips just to complete my makeup look. Now, I always like to give my lipstick a quick blot. I'm feeling this look. It's a vibe. I love the eyes and the lips together. I just think it's a statement. I, I like it. I like the fact that you get everything in one kit and that it's £15. I like the bog inside of it because we all want to save our money. And that, guys, is it for this Sultry Rebel look. I'm feeling this look. It's a vibe. I love the eyes and the lips together. I just think it's a statement. I, I like it. I like the fact that you get everything in one kit and that it's £15. I like the bog inside of it because because we all want to save our money. So make sure that you do shop www.avon.uk.com if you want to shop this kit and then also have a look at the other kits available as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me your comments down below.